Right. So when I go going back to figuring out your real estate investment, these are things that you have to consider, like the longevity of how long yep. you want to how long you want to hold on this asset for how long you want to have it grow for where you want it located and how much money you have ready to you exactly. know throw in on it exactly there's two few parameters you have to see it the demographic of the city how many people are there are that mm -hmm. city is growing by day mm -hmm. by day by in terms of population mm -hmm. what i can think of top of my head is there's a lot of other cities in there too okanagan is Kelowna, mm -hmm. small town penticton mm -hmm. is growing calgary is growing is booming. Mm -hmm. I went last week just for the purpose of searching for some commercial plazas because here mm -hmm. the commercial plazas cap rate is only 3.5 to 4 percent. I'm not even talking about Vancouver. Here in Surrey you can't find anything for 4 percent cap rate. A decent plaza you can't buy it. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Calgary you can buy it for 6 percent mm -hmm. cap rate. Yes the appreciation is not going to be there the same amount of what it is in Surrey but again something is better than nothing. Mm -hmm. Have a 10-year plan. Mm -hmm. If your mortgage is getting paid Yes. Because with the 5.5% cap rate and if you're mm -hmm. putting it like 5.5, 5 to 6% cap rate, if you're putting 25% down, mm -hmm. majority of the times, 9 to 10 times your mortgage will be carried by itself yep. by the plaza. Then why you have to sell it? Mm -hmm. Because those plazas, what they're selling it now, mm -hmm. I checked it, all the previous records of it. So I was asking those commercial realtors also mm -hmm. that, can you pull it out the data and show me what these plazas, which is now selling for 5 million, 10 years ago, how much they were selling for. Okay. Right. They work for 2.5, 3 mm -hmm. million. So a lot of research. Like you yes. need to, oh, yeah. you, you like to if do you're it. putting yeah. that much money down, you better yeah, do, you do your the research. research. <laughs> and that time, remember, the Alberta during that last 10 years mm -hmm. or last 8 to 7 years were totally relying on oil. Mm. And we had a recession in 2008. It hit badly on Alberta. Mm. Even in that tough times, still, mm -hmm. there was an appreciation of 50 to 60% of the purchase mm -hmm. of the real estate, whatever these people have it in last 10 years. And now they are, the government is also changing the policy. They learned it from there that mm -hmm. Alberta or the Calgary cannot depend only on oil. Mm -hmm. That's where they're trying to bring up other resources. IT is growing well, there. Like, like they, they're inviting the pop. The any location, any province, they wouldn't yes. be able to survive just off the yes. one thing. But right? they learned it from their mistake yep. and they, they are rectifying it so that mm -hmm. history doesn't repeat itself. Mm -hmm. They wanted to have other sources of income in there. So they are inviting the people and how they can have that is inviting other immigrants. The more the population will be, the more business is going to grow, more taxes will come to the government. If the taxes comes, they can build up the infrastructure. Everything is tied up. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong in paying the taxes. Everybody won't, has to pay the mm -hmm. taxes. If And the government, only if we pay taxes, they will be able to develop the city. I and know. that's what they're doing it. I know. And I'll, I'm surprised with the development is happening in Calgary. I'm amazed. Like, yeah. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. In Calgary, is amazing. It opens up your mindset. It's a different vision. You get it. Okay. Why? Whatever is happening today in Surrey, mm -hmm. 10 years from now, it will be the same in Calgary. Yep. So this is the time when I told you in the beginning when said that, oh, look at these people who have purchased on 152 10 years ago mm -hmm. for a million dollar. This is that. This is happening right now. This is what is Calgary. Mm -hmm. This is what I wanted. My son is, I'm, I'm doing a simple calculation here. My son is nine years old. Yep. By that time, he's 20. Mm -hmm. I wanted to have one piece of land. And hopefully by that time, even if it is not doubling the amount of hair, mm -hmm. if I'm investing 5 million there, mm -hmm. have a plaza, put 25% down, which is a million, mm -hmm. rest of the money is going to be carried by the mortgage. Let's see what happens in 10 years. Mm -hmm. Even if the it's, it doesn't appreciate at all, mm -hmm. at least my mortgage will be paid. Mm -hmm. At least some portion of the mortgage will be paid. So mm -hmm. I will still have about 2 million equity, if, even mm -hmm. if it's 1 million of the mortgages. And I'm taking worst to worst situation going mm -hmm. to be which will not happen, like it's not going to be no appreciation in next 10 years going to be happening mm -hmm. in Calgary if I'm buying a plaza today for 5 million. Because here with a million, you can't buy a plaza. <laughs> you can't do shit. You can't do it. You, you can't do You it. can do barely anything yes. with that. You can't get a lending on it. Uh -huh. Bank will not give you the mortgage. Mm -hmm. So th that's why I'm saying you have to explore the other options. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what is happening. Mm -hmm. Other smart investors, the seasonal investors are going mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. I'm, I cannot take the name of those developers on the camera. I got surprised when I went there last week bunch of the realtors, commercial realtors, they took, took big developers' name who are from Surrey.